Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. KDE Plasma 6.1 has officially been released, bringing a host of new features and improvements to one of the most popular desktop environments for Linux. This update is significant as it builds on the foundation set by KDE Plasma 6.0, adding several new functionalities and enhancements, aimed at improving user experience, especially for those using Wayland and NVIDIA GPUs. Let's dive into the key highlights of KDE Plasma 6.1. One of the most standout features of KDE Plasma 6.1 is explicit GPU synchronization support for NVIDIA users. This improvement is particularly beneficial for those using the MESA 24.1 graphical stack and NVIDIA 555 drivers. It aims to enhance the overall experience when using the Plasma Wayland session, providing smoother and more reliable graphics performance. Triple buffering support has been introduced to make animation and screen rendering smoother. This feature is particularly significant for Wayland users, as it aims to bring the performance up to the level of X11 session, which already utilizes triple buffering. This means users can expect less screen tearing and more fluid animations. Flatpak apps, which are a popular way of distributing software on Linux, are now better supported in KDE Plasma 6.1. This means users can expect more reliable and seamless integration of Flatpak applications within their desktop environment. A new remote desktop page has been added to the system settings. This allows users to easily turn on and configure remote desktop protocol. This is a protocol that lets you control another computer over a network, making it easier to manage remote systems. The new hide cursor effect will automatically hide the mouse pointer after a period of inactivity. This is particularly useful for presentation or watching videos where the cursor can be distracting. Notifications have been improved to provide better feedback and a more streamlined experience. Users will notice more consistent and informative notification throughout the system. can now manually save their sessions and there is an experimental feature for restoring session in Plasma Wayland. This means you can save your current workspace setup and return to it later, which is handy for maintaining productivity across different work sessions. The Kicker Launcher, which is the application menu in KDE Plasma, now includes the ability to perform calculation and unit conversion directly from the search bar. This makes it more convenient to quickly solve math problems or convert units without opening a separate app. Support for WireGuard VPNs has been enhanced. WireGuard is known for its simplicity and high performance, making it a popular choice for secure network connections. This new feature is enabled by default, allowing users to shake their mouse to quickly locate the cursor. This can be a lifesaver if you frequently lose track of the cursor on a large or high resolution display. For users with laptops that have RGB backlight keyboards, the backlight color can now sync with the active accent color on the desktop. This adds a touch of customization and coherence to the overall look of the system. The Plasma Discover Graphical Package Manager now allows for manual updates of Snap applications. Snap is another popular packaging system for distributing Linux software and this addition provides more control over when and how these apps are updated. Screens can now be woken up using a stylus, which is particularly useful for touchscreen devices and tablets. When dragging windows around the screen, the cursor icon has been improved for better visual feedback. The custom accent color feature has been enhanced, allowing for more personalized options. Users can now better match their desktop look and feel to their personal preferences. A new zoom out effect has been added to Plasma Edit Mode. This visual enhancement makes it easier to manage desktop widgets and panels. The screen locker can now be configured to unlock without requiring a password. This can be useful in secure environment where quick access is needed without compromising security. A new feature for Lenovo IdeaPad and Lenovo Legion laptops allows users to set the battery charging to a specific fixed level, such as 80%. This helps in prolonging the battery lifespan by preventing overcharging. Support for the Input Capture Portal allows the desktop to capture input events from connected physical or logical devices. 
This can be useful for developers and advanced users needing precise control over input devices. KDE Plasma 6.1 brings improved support for AMD GPUs when using the open source AMD GPU drivers. This ensures better performance and stability for users with AMD graphics hardware. x and apps can now listen for non-alphanumeric key presses. This improves the functionality of legacy applications running under Wayland. New features called Edge Barrier and Corner Barrier have been introduced to manage how the mouse interacts with the edges and corners of the screen in multi-monitor setups. This helps prevent the cursor from unintentionally moving to another monitor. The navigation bar of the web browser widget can now be hidden providing a cleaner look and more screen space for content. Technical audio information is now displayed in the info center, providing more detailed insights into the system's audio setup. Keyrunner search results now prioritize system settings page, making it easier to find and adjust system configurations. The night light feature, which reduces blue light to ease eye strain, has received improvements for better functionality. All around, KDE Plasma 6.1 packs a wide range of features and improvements designed to enhance the overall user experience. These updates are aimed at making the desktop environment more intuitive, customizable and performance-oriented. Users of the popular Linux distributions like Arch Linux, KDE Neon, OpenSUSE Tumbleweed and Fedora Linux can expect to see the KDE Plasma 6.1 in their stable software repository soon. And as always, if you find this video useful, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.